You know, Dad always had a drinking problem. He'd run around and run around hitting things, eating random fruit items in the middle of the bedroom, the living room, even the bathroom. And he always claimed he was running away from ghosts. Every now and then he'd pick up and eat some little fluorescent neon looking food item off the floor. Almost reminded me of like a circular jello. And he would start eating it and run around and run around. And I will tell you something. When he ran around and touched me, oh, it was the worst. Oh, it hurt. I I would just disappear and 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 reappear like in the center of the house and in the closet. And I never understood how these things happen. I would tell people all about it and everyone thought that I was nuts. Now, mom looked a lot like dad. The main difference was mom always wore a bow tie and her, I, I guess I'll say hair, but neither of my parents really had any hair. It, it was more like both of them suffered from jaundice, so they had yellow skin. And they would run around the house just gobbling up little pecks of uh, cereal and fruit. And, you know, I, I actually... Growing up, I, I thought this was normal. I thought this was okay. I never even thought to question it. Now, I will say our daily routine was the same thing again and again and again. It was running away from dad or running away from mom and and just trying not to be touched by either one of them. And In fact, I had a deep distrust of them. And every single time they touched that blinking jello, I ran and I ran, oh, avoid the pain and the sudden spontaneous combustion and the disappearing and the reappearing. Well, w as I got older and I escaped from the maze, shall we say, I learned a thing or two. I learned that that was not normal. I learned that I am a normal human being just like anybody else. So what happened? Well, we did convince mom and dad to get therapy, which was a bit of a struggle because they would always run around going walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a. How do you communicate with somebody like that? Man, if we didn't get to go to school, we would have been raised as if we were by wolves in the jungle but the good news is mom and dad they made it they had successful lives they really did love each other and they chased each other around too but uh really gotta say that the one thing that really sticks out and bothers me to this very day is what mom and dad told their therapist that they were running away from ghosts. And we, their children, were the ghosts. None of us look like each other either. We're all different colors. Not that there's anything wrong with that.